How's it going? I'm Loaf78. I thought I'd create a quick video just to go through how you can simultaneously stream using Twitch and broadcast yourself as a guest star using Twitch's new guest star feature. So let's get straight into it, right? What do I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the virtual camera. Yeah. So we're going to create a scene. So let's call this scene virtual camera, just like that. And that's going to be a blank scene, right? So I've disappeared now. So let's add our video source. I've already got configured. So video capture device, add existing webcam. There we go, I'm back. Make myself full screen, because why not? And then that's it. We've configured our virtual camera source now. So whatever you want to do here, however you normally have your camera set up, that's fine. You do that in this scene, and that's what we're gonna be using to broadcast to guest star. So we're gonna click the cog to the right-hand side of the start virtual camera. We're gonna select scene, and we're gonna select our newly created scene, virtual camera. Click OK, done. Now, before we click start, let's have a look at the guest star. So here we go. Here's Twitch guest star. Right? And the reason we're doing this is you can't simultaneously use your camera in two pieces of software. It's an exclusive piece of hardware. so. While it's exclusively being used by your OBS Studio or whatever streaming software you use, you can't exclusively use it within Twitch Guestar. So in this scenario, what I've done is I've selected OBS Virtual Camera. So at the moment, there's nothing there because it's not running. So if we click Start Virtual Camera, there we go. There's me, I'm on there. Now, one of the things I've noticed is Virtual Camera flips it, yeah, or actually to be correct is Twitch guest star flips it and you can correct that yourself if you want by just selecting flip horizontal there we go so now even though you are backwards in your OBS studio you're actually the correct way around in Twitch guest star now with that set up it means we can flip to our normal gaming scene or whatever content creating scene you've got and you'll see we are existing in both there's no conflict not what normally happens is one would freeze that's not the scenario here. That's, that's, that's not what's happening. So that's it. You're done. Um, one thing to note is that by using this, it's quite powerful. You can actually share any scene you want. So if you wanted to not only share your, your camera source, you could actually share your entire gaming stream. So if you select your whatever source it is you normally have your content on, click OK, you'll see that that also is shared. But again, it's reversed. So you'd have to get around that. But yeah, and that's it. So hopefully that's been helpful. Hopefully that will make it a bit easier to, to create this content and appear as someone else's guest on their stream. If you have found this helpful, then please click subscribe. Yeah, go onto my Twitch channel, Nov78. Click follow, say hello. All feedback is welcome. Thanks very much. Catch you later.